interesting. It it does make sense, and it, it's so interesting how you know the the universe or, or higher forces or, or, or God or whatever you choose to believe in kind of buffets you in directions that maybe you don't expect to take. I mean, I I, I don't think you expected it in 2021 to have you know tens of thousands of people internationally watching your live streams on the ground at these trading protests, but you you just did the most wonderful job, and it's it's amazing how you you mentioned the multicultural nature of the protests. I mean, I remember watching the live streams and and seeing um, sheiks there as well. There were people from all walks of life. And, and I thought to myself, oh, that's very odd. They're calling uh, sheiks and, and immigrants from, you know, Asia and from India and from other places um, Nazis. The, the narrative just didn't hold up, you know, and that was what was so fantastic um, that you were there. Um, what struck me was that you really showed the world the truth of what was going on in Australia. I mean, to the point where New Yorkers marched on the Australian consulate, like in the Big Apple. I mean, do you think the perception of Australians that a lot of foreigners have of us, which is the happy-go-lucky rebels, larrikins, was permanently changed by the willingness of just so many Australians to be locked down? Yeah, look, I definitely think so. Even not just international people, even people locally, myself included, my perception of Australians really changed during that time. Um, you know, this idea that we are people who are, you know, fair for a fair go, for instance, and we're locking up people. For, and you know, one one class of people can go to work; other people are shut off from their work. Right? We're having this uh, this this system in our country where it's not fair anymore. And they're giving all sorts of reasons for it. Um, but what we're seeing is, you know, the people that are putting these decisions in front of us, who are locking us down and doing these type of things, there's no accountability for them. There's no transparency for them. But people are still willing to go, go along with them. I'm not telling people to go out there and protest. I'm just saying the general curiosity of Australians to actually question, you know, how is it that these politicians, uh, week in, week out, they change their story and people are just like, oh, yeah, cool, you know, okay, you know, two more weeks, yep, you know, five more months. Like, how, how did that happen to our country? You know, we need to be curious about what our political leaders are doing and what our media is doing and what our institutions are doing. And we lost a lot of that. And I think for people watching from around the world, they did see Australians as this uh, group of people who just, <laughs> you know, just take it. And uh, they're happy to just, you know, go with the government and they're, they're, there's, no, there's no passion there for their rights. There's no passion there for their fellow workers. They're just happy to subjugate everyone uh, to whatever the government says. And I think, um, you know, a lot of people saw that uh, in Australia for myself for the first time, that how willing we were to do that. And of course, internationally, people were seeing all the, all the crazy scenes, right? Like it's something you would see in some type of third world banana republic. Uh, a lot of the things that were happening, you know, police knocking on uh, pregnant people's homes and uh, for social media posts and things like this is just crazy. Like you know, I don't, I didn't, I never expect that to see that in that country. So if I'm living in Australia and I didn't expect that, people watching from other countries around the world looking into Australia, uh, you know, they would be shocked by this. And this is not just Westerners being shocked by this. I had cousins and stuff in Sri Lanka in my in my parents' country. Uh, they would tell me like, you know, what's going on there? Because <laughs> the, even there, it's some of the stuff that they see is crazy, right? Like even there, uh, police wouldn't normally go f to a house for a protest or a social media post. Like there's other other repercussions, but the the, the way that it was happening here, they couldn't believe it. So there was definitely something that uh, wasn't quite right in Australia during that time. 